Which of the following enzyme deficiencies is most likely responsible for this patient's sim symptoms? Aldolase A, B, fructokinase, or galactokinase, or hexokinase. A six-year-old boy presents with abdominal pain, vomiting, and lethargy after inadvertently ingesting a large amount of fruit juice. His mother reports that he has experienced similar episodes in the past when consuming certain fruits and sweets. His growth and development have been normal, and he has no history of Caesar or jaundice. Um, laboratory tests revealed mild hypoglycemia, elevated liver enzymes, and hyperuricemia. Which of the following enzyme deficiencies is most likely responsible for, responsible for this patient's symptoms? Okay. Um, I'm pretty confident in saying that this is a fructose issue. A um, This is not like a, a glucose or galactose issue because the galactose would have. So I'm going to get rid of galactokinase, aldolase A, and hexokinase. Um, just because I don't know what even aldolase A is, hexokinase is to do with like completely different with glucose. Um, sure. uptake. And so what I'm going to say here is um, aldolase, um, uh, fructokinase is like what I consider, it, I remember the mnemonic, fructokinase is kinder. In um, okay. in like in, in if you have a deficiency of it, aldolase B is going to be very aggressive. I think jaundice, and because okay. there's no history of seizure or seizures or jaundice, I probably would avoid that and say it's going to be fructokinase. Okay, final answer here. Final answer. Okay, <laughs> no, you're good. I to be honest, I was like, I, that sounds good to me, but I don't remember any of this. So let let's kind of work through this. Guy. I'm not I'm not a hundred percent sure. Patient symptoms of abdominal pain, vomiting, and lethargy after consuming fruit juice is similar episodes after consuming certain fruits, sweets containing a disorder of fructose metabolism. Um, mild hypoglycemia, elevated enzyme, further supports allies B deficient, also known as hereditary fructose intolerance, is an auto receptor order that accumulates fructose one in the liver. Clinical manifestations. Let's see the difference between fructose, also known as essential fructose, use, is a benign autosomal recessive disorder that results in excretion of fructose in the years it does not cause uh symptoms uh, seen in this patient so actually so you're very close here it says that because of the lethargy right lethargy meaning like you're spaced out so i think you got it between the two i think you might have mixed it up a little bit here um by the clinical symptoms right so would you say if you look at his cheese complaint if it's is it severe or not severe this would be severe you get what i'm trying to say yeah right because uh, when you yeah, say yeah yeah, like lethargy for a kid is like the worst thing you can say when you're talking about a kid, right? That means like they're spaced out, they're not there, right? Their brain is all soupy, right? They they look really, really sick, right? So you want to kind of push towards something a little bit more um, sick, which would be Adelaide's B, like you told me, right? So, so okay, so fructokinase would be more like asymptomatic. It's like yep. you have issues when you're, but it's still not, it's like bothering you, but it's not causing like exactly. lethargy or like even hyperglycemia or like liver enzyme, like affecting the liver or the, like, okay. Yeah. I think this is just kind of like, you see, you, you see that they, they kind of pee out fructose. Yeah. It's not as severe as allulose B. So I think that um, when you're talking about on a biochem standpoint, then um, they're very similar in a sense, right? What, you know, they're both in the fructose pathway, but allulose, uh, Adelase B, right? Can't even pronounce the enzyme, right? Um, Adelase B is going to be way more severe in symptoms. And then mm. fructokinase is going to be relatively not as severe. Okay, perfect. That's a very easy fix. Perfect, perfect.